there was nothing we could do about that. It's either we accept it or we lose our home. <laughs> please do not forget to subscribe so guys if you haven't watched my house tour yet then i'll advise you to go watch it because only then will you understand what this video today is all about so today i'm gonna be going through this list with you guys talking about all the upgrades we did like I told you guys in the house tour video that we did lots of upgrade um, for our home. So today I'm going to be going through not all the upgrades because I cannot go through all. They are like little, little minor things that we did that were like 100 200 $500. So the things I'm going to go through today with you guys are the main things that we did like the expensive ones like the ones you can significantly see they are like little little ones we, we did that you can't see them and i'm not gonna mention them because if not we're gonna sleep here today all right so let's begin so um the first upgrade we did right in the beginning was the structural changes so um, when you sign the contract with the builder, in our case, our builder was First Texas Home. When we signed the contract with them, we had just two weeks to make any structural changes that we wanted to make in the home. And then um, then they give us our price or they let us know if it's possible or it's not possible. Okay, so the first change we did was to have an upgraded um, lot. So we went for the um, premium so our premium for our lot was ten thousand us dollar um prior to covid like 2020 anyone who started building their house in 2020 you see that they have a lot more um bigger lots and they have more space in between their neighbors so i wish we actually started building in 2020 and the prices were really good as well when covid started not prior to covid when covid started and the prices start going up like crazy beginning of 2021 like that's when they started increasing the prices like every one two months the prices of the house have gone up again like so it was really crazy all right so in our home if you can see in the um house door we have our ceilings our ceiling in the house is high and flat so to get the um, ceiling um, raised up to 18 feet that was five thousand two hundred dollar okay so we added um butler's pantry you know that that the little coffee section um in the kitchen that one was six thousand uh, five thousand six hundred let's move to the masters so for our master's um, bedroom, the actual plan came um, with one being able to go into the uh, master closet through the master bedroom. So we totally reconfigure, like totally change the home master and bathroom to change everything, the shape, everything. So we we changed um, the the door being accessed through the master bathroom for the closets, and the actual plan came with just one closet as well. So the second closet was an upgrade. Also, I'll come to that. So we added square footage in the master bedroom to act as second closet that um square footage was 5410 for they added six uh, 63 square footage and they charged us 5410 
and then they added a second closet and that second closet was 5,600. Okay. In the master um, bathroom, if you can see, we have our um, shower, it's quite massive. That one also was an upgrade. So um, we paid for the shower to be enlarged. So that was $645. So the standalone bathtub in the master's um, bathroom, that was an upgrade as well. That was $4,200. Like that one was my idea. Like there was no way I was gonna have a, a master bedroom without a um, standalone um, bathtub. Okay, so I'll come back to the master's um, bathroom floor and countertop. Let's move to the living room. The wood floor in the living room, because we have the wood floor in the former dining, former living, and then the family room, which is the main living room. So, and then we have it in the uh, section going towards the, um, the that, that, that long corridor, or that long kind of, the, you have it in the entryway as well, then we have it in that long, is it like do we call it corridor like where, where it's leading to the guest um bathroom downstairs and the second bedroom and um, um utility room and so forth so those were the area that one is eight thousand two hundred and sixty seven dollar all right the cover patio our cover patio was was extended um, they added 210 square foot um, and they charged us 9,450. Okay, so upstairs in the game room, we added the wet bar. The wet bar was not in the plan at all and that one was 4,840. Upstairs again, we added an extra bad um extra bathroom upstairs so um for us to add an extra um bathroom upstairs we we had to pay for the 40 square footage they had to add the space they had to create there and we also pay four thousand dollar again for the bathroom itself so in total six thousand eight hundred dollars to have an extra bathroom in one of those rooms upstairs because normally we had two jack and g's upstairs so that was four bedrooms using two bathrooms and i didn't like the idea so if i could do it all over again i would have added another bathroom upstairs and, and another half bath upstairs and uh, one half bath downstairs but this is our first home so it's okay i'm on our forever home will be, will be wow, will be, will be everything, everything. All right, guys. So let's move forward. Um. So downstairs, in the guest bathroom. So the guest bathroom, like I told you guys, initially it was supposed to be an, a, a half bathroom, not a full bathroom. So we added the shower, and the shower cost us four thousand dollar. So outside of our house, which I didn't really show show you guys how it looked out of security reasons. The reason why I did not show you the front of the house is because I'm trying to protect um, my home. I'm trying to protect where I live. Like, I mean, this is the internet. I don't know where my YouTube videos are going to go or where they're going to land. I don't mind someone seeing like my inside of my house, but not outside of the house due to security reasons. But in our outside of our house, our brick is white and we use the white motor as well. So the brick was an upgrade to $6,000. The motor was $2,500. In the kitchen, we have a double oven. That one is an upgrade, $1,150. So the media room, um, it's not done yet, but we paid, that was an upgrade. We paid to have it like a, an actual cinema room with the 
with the projector, with the wiring, the sound, the speakers, like you feel like you're in a cinema room. That one cost us about 10K, then including the wiring, the home, like home, home for is the one doing that. They'll wire the whole house, security cameras, um, like security, right? In case when you open the door, that it, it, it alerts you someone open the door. And of those, including the media room, was it? It's all was like like a package from Home Pro and all of that in total was fifteen thousand. So in the study um slash office, you can see the double glass door. That one was an upgrade because it the actual house or the actual plan came with a regular door. All right, so that one was one thousand one hundred and fifty for to have the double glass door. So now I'm going into the countertops and the floors in both the kitchen and our master's um, uh, bathroom because all the other bathrooms like in the house, the secondary bathrooms, we didn't do an upgrade. We just went for the standards. Okay. So for the kitchen floor, right, where we have the marble towel, um, that one was um, 2925 that the kitchen area the floor so you guys have seen it in the, in the house door so if you haven't watched it like i say you have to go watch the house door in order to understand this video um yes yeah, so when i say the kitchen floor that that is the kitchen the breakfast nook and the pantry all of those cost 2925 it was an upgrade so we didn't want the standard floor we went for marble marble obsession that was the name and the color there is timeless something. I can't, I think timeless white. Okay, so kitchen, nook. When I say nook, I mean breakfast nook. Kitchen, breakfast nook, and pantry, the countertop. So the countertop was $8,250. Almost 10K, guys. Now, 10K is exaggeration. So, eight thousand two hundred and fifty dollars so almost nine k because um this was an upgrade and this was from my understanding this was the best quality that first texas home was offering and i wanted that so back to the master's bathroom the countertop for the master bathroom was an upgrade and it cost us one thousand seven hundred dollar the floor for the master's um bathroom i'm talking about the floor including because we use the same towel for the floor and around the shower and the shower and the floor as well so all of those the whole floor shower we in master's um, bathroom was five thousand six hundred and twenty dollar that was how much it cost us to have our master bathroom have that beautiful marble obsession towel. That uh, towel that is actually something, Kalakata something. Kalakata something. I mean, this Kal Kalakata family, like they have really nice stones. Like I love it. Um, even our countertop is Kalakata something. Kalakata frenzy, something like that. So, um, if you... I haven't, I haven't actually given a tour outside for you guys to see the um, the fence, how extended it is. Um, that was that was not free. The, it cost us two thousand one hundred and sixty to extend the fence. Um, yes, the shock of all the shock. Now, I don't know if you guys are ready for this. Honestly, this was the shock of of all the shock. Like. This was the biggest shock of our lives, not our lives. This was, this was the biggest shock of our entire building process. Sometime in July 2022, so we closed in December, July 2022, which was five months before we closed, we got um, a message from them, from First Texas Home, that they... They're increasing the, our sales price due to 
um, escalation of certain materials. So apparently the material prices have gone up, blah, blah, blah. I am done. I am not, I am not done. So they increased our sales price and added $27,242 on top of our sales price. And guys, do you know what is funny? There was there was nothing we could do about that. It's either we accept it or we lose our home and then they'll sell it to somebody else and pay us back uh, what we have um, put down. We paid some large amount of money because they wanted to make sure that when the house is ready and done, we're gonna accept it and we're gonna take it because we did so many changes that they have never had in their life before. That's why if you see, look at our house from all the first texts and so we are the first to have this style and everything that we have in here, all the changes we made, it was new to them. They have never had it before. So they were a bit skeptical and they asked us to pay a large sum of money to secure the home and make sure that for them to have the security that when they do all these changes and build a house, we're going to take the house, like we're going to buy it. So, which I totally understand. But what I didn't understand is this increase of sales price is 27,242. Like, gosh, like, we were upset. Like, there was nothing we could do about it. Oh, yeah. I don't, I don't want to break the news to you guys, but you know what's funny? We have people in this same neighborhood. They paid twice the price that we paid for the, um, the escalation of materials so some people will charge 55k extra and we were yet grumbling and crying over 27k something some people were paying 57k even they charge some people 30k more than us like we do, we just found out guys i forget to mention this staircase was an upgrade having this staircase to be wood instead of carpet was 9k I don't know if I've told you guys before, I am obsessed with my house and this neighborhood is so secure and so beautiful. Yes, so guys, I've come to the end of this video and I've gone through everything that I wanted you guys to know. Like I said, this everything I've said on this list, those are just the the uh, the expensive upgrades like the ones above one thousand dollar because there are some little 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 minor upgrades that we did that i don't find it necessary telling you guys because it's not even worth it like first texas home has their own way that they do their things compared to other builders like we had to for our house to be super super bright we had we had to pay extra for to get more can lights in the area that we wanted so for example our game room actually had just a center light so we added four can lights um to the sides like around the the game room area so around the ceiling that one was an upgrade if i'm not mistaken it was like 100 per can light or something like that here yeah. because i know that um, they charged us uh, 1000 something for all the extra can lights that we added. So th those are things that I haven't mentioned. I'm trying to think what is... Like there are things that they charge like having a, uh, a double sink or just a one big sink. Having a one big sink is an upgrade. Don't ask me why. It's weird. You think that having double sink is an upgrade instead. No, but for them, having one lash sink is an upgrade. And having double sink is not an upgrade. It's free. Guys, I forget to mention this door in our master's bedroom, which leads to the patio. This was an upgrade. It was $850. Oh, yes. One of the upgrades we did was to add a charging um, electrical vehicle charging port in the garage so where you can charge electrical vehicle so guys that's it for today thank you so much for watching feel free to comment below and ask me whatever you want to ask me if you have any question feel free i don't buy it and yeah so if you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe like and share this video